dear students of city government girls high school chotogram especially the students of class 9 today i am pradeep kumar dev senior teacher english is come here to introduce you changing sentences from english second paper you know that structurally sentences are three kinds they are number 1 simple number 2 complex and number 3 compound so dear student you should learn you have to have knowledge about structural sentences you also know that according to the descriptions narration we get we have five types of sentences but structurally they are three kinds simple complex and compound simple is a simple type of sentence there you will have a subject and a finite verb and it will clear you the meaning of the sentence whole but in the case of complex you will get have more than one sentence this means you will have a principal sentence another you will have subordinate this means one is principal clause and there are more than sub clauses in this structural sentence complex in compound when we will join connect two simple sentences for one then we have to call it compound sentence you know that for the connectors or to add the simple sentence we used n but and there are other also not only but also therefore so dear students today i want to introduce you how to change a complex sentence into simple for example look at the sentence a complex sentence i can write though he is poor is honest is a complex sentence you know that this is the subordinate clause and this is principal clause there are two sentences and we have used a special word here though you know that you can use though as although sometimes you will have though sometimes although but the meaning is same if you want to make it simple what you have to do first look at here though here we have to change the word into in spite of it's a phrase in spite of in the case of simple you have to write in spite of now look at here there is a subject i have told you that for a simple sentence you will have just one subject one finite verb so we have there is a subject we will write it we will take it as principal so change it into possessive in spite of his and change this word into noun poverty in spite of his poverty 
we should not, uh, in spite of his poverty, he is honest. So, look at here now, this is not a sentence because there is no subject and no verb. It is an a special part we have used changing the sub clause and we have taken already the principal clause in spite of his poverty he is honest. You can write it in this way in spite of his you can change this word, this verb into being. In spite of his being, then you should not change it, you have to write poor. Adjective, in spite of his being poor, he is honest. So remember, try to understand that I have used here to be form. When you will get to be form, you have to change the sentence to make it seem just a way. Now another sentence for you. Though he had good qualification he did not get the job simple Look at here, we have used head and our previous sentence we used is. Same for though you have to use in spite of and for this possessive form is in spite of his. Now we can change it into having. We used in place of is has been but for have has had you have to use it you have to change it into having in spite of his having good qualification qualifications this is a principle so we have write it he did not get the job. If you want to remove this from the sentence, you can do this also. In spite of, in spite of his good qualification, he did not get the job. That time, you will you will see that there is an sometimes a gap in this sentence. So you should it will be better to use had as having. In spite of his having good qualification, he did not get the job. Dear student, more example for you. Though he ran fast, he missed the train. Look at here, we have a principal verb, main verb here. 
for this you have to change it in chaser way in spite of running remember the spelling r u n n i in spite of running fast he missed the train so look at here in spite of running now this is now after the prepositions we use as now in spite of you can also change it as his in spite of his running fast but to avoid the sentence to uh, earn the meaning clearly and sweetly we can remove this so we should you you if you want to use it you can use as his or you can stop it here in spite of running fast he means the train so dear student i hope you have got the point clear how to change it remember also that in the place of in spite you can write also this part of these are the same meaning so how you can make a complex sentence i want to remind that in a complex sentence we will have one principal clause and more sub clauses more than one sub clause also and that time if you try to make it simple when you will find that use of using the though or although just the go sentence you should go following just a way and i can advise you or i would like to advise you that you should go through for practice from your book and many more sentences you have to done based on just type of sentences so dear student i am to finish it for the day in the next class we will discuss more complex sentences and we will try to make them simple and in the next session for the next session i hope you will follow these rules and be safe and sound and make you busy with your studies keep you updated thank you so much <laughs>